In Misty Knight's safe house, Spider-Man is talking to his therapist about the fact that Peter had ghosted him for so long and he had to take care of shit by himself. He said, I guess I'm just getting used to the idea that I'm maybe just doing fine without him, she said. Sorry, I couldn't, shouldn't have put words in your mouth. He said, no, it's okay. It's not exactly that. It's just when he uh, finally popped up after ghosting me, he acted like nothing had changed and I snapped on his ass. I don't even know where the fuck the shit came from. This was back in the beginning of uh, the gang war, first strike. She's like, but you did the hard thing, had the hard conversation. And that's something the other Spider-Man appreciates, even if it was difficult in the moment. He's like, yeah, I guess you're right. Still felt weird, which really sucks. She like, and it's okay to feel like that. But like you said, Spider-Man, this is the new normal. So currently, this motherfucker goes to Brooklyn. And he sees snow all around Brooklyn. He just left Spider-Man and arrested him back in uh, issue 39 of Amazing Spider-Man. Frost Pharaoh is back, and this motherfucker's in a war fighting fucking this motherfucker, the Bumbler dude from issue one of this series. And they was finna fuck that little kid up. Spider-Man came and saved him. This motherfucker pulled out a bomb. Spider-Man threw that bitch in the air and that bitch blew the fuck up. So that's when Spider-Man went in there and started fucking all the motherfuckers up. The Buzz Bros was like, hey, I got some thoughts about how things went last time, Spider-Man. Got some new tricks up my sleeve too. Spider-Man was like, dang, you're not gonna believe this. But you ain't the only ones who've gotten the upgrades. He pulled out his Venom Saber. We get a flashback of when he got trained to fucking uh, use his Venom Sword by Colleen Wing. Told his ass, spider folks already pulled their punches, but that Venom Saber of yours is going to require even more focus so no one gets hurt. It also drains a lot of energy, so you need to continue honing your stamina so you don't burn yourself out. 1 to 7 o'clock. And he was getting jumped. They was jumped uh, training his ass. About him in a fight, it ain't going to be fair, so his ass go invisible. Uh, Colleen was like, God damn it, why you ain't telling me you go invisible? She's like, it's in the file. Now get out the way before it cracks the fuck out of her ass. Spider-Man was like, uh, I'm trying to be very humble when I say this, but does this mean I passed today's listen? Misty was like, you smart ass. Colleen was like, you're officially my least favorite Spider-Man. So Spider-Man comes up and slash dude's gun in half. Bro's like, shoot him, idiot. He said, with what? He keeps cutting our shit in half. They get to shooting at him. Spider-Man, get the fuck up out of there. He just, uh, thwips up dude's gun. He's like, let me handle this fuck then. Spider-Man was like, oh no, a D-list villain that I just learned about his name today. Is he going to stop me? Whoop. Guess not. Motherfucker talking about some, I don't know how to stop flight mode yet. He's like, bro, you making this look like amateurs. We are. He said, yeah, well, we can do this. Yeah, we can, uh, we got this. We're the Buzz Bros. You heard that, Spidey? We're the fucking Buzz Bros. He come up slashing him and shit. I mean, shooting him. Spider-Man was like, yeah, well, <laughs> slashing straight through him. I'm Spider-Man. They fall into some garbage. He's like, all right, that take care of the bees. Now I got to find out where Frost Pharaoh went. And he was like, ain't no way. Frost Pharaoh got a damn Gundam. He's like, shit, how the fuck I take down this damn thing? He's like, no time to think, gotta figure it out on the fly. So this motherfucker makes a goddamn big ass snowball and tries to throw it at Spider Man. Spider Man move, miss that shit. He's like, too, 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 too close. And I'm still freezing in these tights. He pulls out his Venom Saber and he tries to stab dude in the arm. That shit ain't work. It just go through his damn his shit. Bro's finna blast his ass right with the frost cannon. <laughs> he blasts the whole block. Spider Man was like, no time to uh, keep playing around. I gotta end this now. He's like another great moment where I kill for a fully functioning spider sense because the spider sense still fucked up. He tried to thwip him, but his shit is frozen. That's when the daughters of the dragon come help his ass out. She jump up and throw her sword into his arm. Then she falls down. Spider-Man fucking webs is now fucking warmed up again so he can use him. So they go out there. He thwips him in his eyes and shit. Bro takes that shit off his eyes. Then he see that fucking Spider-Man was coming towards that damn sword that was right there. He grabbed that bitch and venom shocked the fuck out of it. Over with with that damn thing. But the fucking cape killers pulled up. The leader of the motherfuckers, her ass right here, talking about some, yeah, Spider-Man, we're going to, uh, I'm going to need your help again. And this happened back in Carnage uh, Reigns where they helped each other. Hightail the fucking lead of the team, so it's up to her if y'all going to join up. She was like, hey, and Spider-Man was like, hey, man, you still got last uh, hard feelings about what happened last time? Back when she fought, she turned into a vampire and her and, uh, I mean, him and uh, Blade and Blade's daughter had to beat her ass. He was like, you still got problems with me from that shit? She was like, yeah, we always got problems. He was like, now's not the time to get tied up with beef from the past. Because the way I see it, we're going to need all the help we can get. That's when fucking Hobgoblin pulls up on Prowler and gives this man money to go take out Spider-Man. All this go down in that gang war. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, issue 13. 